Welcome back. If you could change the direction of your professional life midstream, would you do it? Here with another in his ongoing series, Where We Live, is 17's Robert Price with a story of a Bakersfield woman who changed colors white to blue and couldn't be happier. If you've dined at Frugati's, the locally owned, newly relocated Italian restaurant in West Bakersfield, you have perhaps appreciated the handiwork of one Allison Paula. Her contribution to the popular eatery, iron grapevines, which helps separate the dining room from the kitchen and servers area. The project took her two and a half months and required more than 150 hours of her time. Paula got started as a welder 11 years ago when her neighbor, who was moving overseas and couldn't bring along his welding equipment, bequeathed it to her. Paula had no idea what to do with it, so she went to YouTube and learned, and learned well. The day she sold her first piece was a breakthrough. Someone bought it. It was. I was surprised. I did, never expected that I would be able to make something out of metal that someone would love. The Iron Maiden has since had some professional training. Paula has done a number of commissioned pieces now, but for the moment, the Iron Grapevine at Fregatti's is the only public or semi-public example of her work. But stay tuned. Since rearranging her life to create more space for her hobby-turned-profession, metal sculpture, Paula who is 44, has opened a door that the world is starting to notice. Paula, who's been an attorney for 20 years, worked for more than a decade as a full-time litigator, so she didn't have much time for her new hobby. But in 2019, she went to work as a client's in-house general counsel, and that helped free her up to do what she really wanted to do, make art out of iron. In early 2023, she dove in almost full-time. Yeah, it's nice because a lot of my quote-unquote adulting can be done in the morning. I just get up early and kind of knock it out, and then by 2 o'clock, everything I do can be handled by telephone or email. So I can come out here and fuss around and create and then still manage the day-to-day -day stuff and keep it all afloat. Up next for Paula, now that Frugati's is up and thriving, a contract with the city of Wasco, the city of roses. Paula, through her one-woman company, Meraki Metalworks, is welding scores of metal roses for one of three public park sculptures. So these are the petals um, that I hand cut. I don't have a template. I've just been doing it long enough. I know what the general shape is, all different sizes. And then I take those and I bend them and tack them together to kind of start forming a bud. Also underway for Wasco, a kaleidoscope of migratory butterflies and a stand of human-sized flowers. It should all be complete in July. Paula doesn't want to spill the beans on some upcoming projects that aren't quite ready for public disclosure, but she's clearly excited. Uh, stay tuned. I feel like I've been blessed with some incredible opportunities. There's some really cool stuff that's coming down the pipe over the next year or so. Much of Paula's metal art is striking, but welding isn't for everyone, and she knows that. Her midlife transformation has taught her this. If you're restless or unfulfilled, don't be afraid to explore whatever avenues of expression suit your talent, interest, or ambition. If I can inspire one other human being to take a leap of faith and jump into something that maybe they would be otherwise scared to do or had never tried or, you know, maybe they thought they weren't good enough, like, you literally have nothing to lose but time. And I'm so grateful. It took me 44 years to figure out, hey, like, this is what I want to do. But now I've got the next however long to play and create and, and do my thing. If there are any lessons we can learn from Alice and Paula, it's that it's never too late to jump in and try something you've never tried before. In Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News. Oh, wow, that is really incredible. Gosh, she's so talented.